What's up, everybody? PC War Room. Coming back with another update. A huge one. Also, if you want to follow me on Steam, it's XiaX01. I do some streaming there, as well as on Mixer. Uh, XiaGNX001 for Mixer. But anyway, <clears throat> to the difference of the supposed cyber power I had. Wonder what that could be. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Look at the new system now. I told everybody that I was probably going to just wait and just, you know, just add on to that case. Well, this bad boy popped up on the Facebook marketplace. I paid uh, $30 for it. Still had the box. The only uh, <clears throat> issue was one of the parts was missing slash broken but that's okay um anyway this is a this actually goes with the intercooler that I got or the uh, AIO this is a deep cool matrix 70 RGB case it's full ATX mid tower uh as you can plainly see, it's nice and lit up. I'll give you a better view of it uh, shortly. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I paid 40 bucks for it. Uh, everything's all nice and neat inside, as you can plainly tell, which I need to do some other tidying. But... Uh, this is one thing I wanted to show that uh, I have done. And uh, I still got two more items I'm going to replace that is cyber power and that is the power supply. And uh, we'll get in touch with, in touch on that here in, uh, in just a minute. And then the, and the graphics card. So two more things which I will be replacing here soon. Very soon. And, uh, but anyway, onward to another one of Cyber Power's, uh, bullshit lies and how this company still, in my opinion, is now nothing but a full-fledged scam. Um, I was going back, I pulled out the box of when I bought the cyber power. Yes, I still kept the box. And I was reading some of the... Because, I mean, the box actually has a lot of the uh, the listings of everything that's supposed to have been in the uh, computer. And... Uh, on it... Was... The power supply. Which claimed the power supply was an EVGA 750 watt power supply. That's all it said. Um, which I can grab some pictures of this stuff here uh, soon and then post them up. To pretty much wrap up the days I'm washing my hands of cyber power. Um... Well, I got the case. So I got everything done, and then uh, I pulled out the case, or pulled out the power supply. Now, I laid it down, didn't pay much attention to it at that time. Uh, got everything a part of the old case, and then I went uh, to start putting the power supply in, and that way I can kind of cable manage a little bit better first. And I was looking on the power supply. Because I was just like, this doesn't feel 
like EVGA quality. It's light. Uh, and I finally flipped it around and it actually had a uh, sticker. It said EVGA. But I noticed that it was pilling up. And now this this build's been a couple days old. I didn't have my camera with me. I wish I had my phone with me. Something. Um, but my brother was here because basically I gave my brother my white cyber power case. So, um, but anyway, there was a sticker and it was starting to peel up. And it did say EVGA. But it didn't have anything else on it. It just literally said EVGA. It didn't have, you know, your the little warnings. It didn't, you know, nothing. Well, like I said, it was starting to peel up anyway. Well, I sat there and I just started messing with it. I started peeling. And I'm noticing that underneath the EVGA sticker there was a silver sticker and it actually started to show some words. So I easily peeled that sticker all the way off. And <laughs> the power supply said CW 600 uh, not a bronze nothing just CW 600 and gave all the numbers on the side of it so <laughs> this company printed out a EVGA sticker a transparent sticker Um, with the the logo to cover up this um, CW. I don't even know who CW is. You can't even. I've, I've Google searched it, and I've come up with CWT power supplies, but not a CW. So it could be a CWT. I mean, I'm not for sure. I didn't write down the serial number. I'm just pretty much floored right now. How much shady shit that this company is doing to the consumers. You're paying a little over $800 to $1,200 for a system, <coughs> and they're putting fake parts inside of them. Which, yes, you know, one of uh, my comments on another video, you know, what do you expect from, you know, a pre built company? Well, let me tell you something on a pre built company. Um, which, uh, Back in the day, some of you guys are not going to uh, know them. But uh, some of you will. If you remember Compaq back in the day, which now they, they were pretty much bought out by HP. <laughs> um, when computer gaming actually started taking off, you know, Compaq was right in the middle of it. And that was one company that could that would make a valid computer, a pre-built computer with valid hardware. They didn't skimp. If it said that you had a, you know, just for example, which you know, this is too new. If it said you had an NVIDIA 2080 Ti. You actually had a 2080 Ti. It wasn't rebranded. It wasn't rebadged. And in some cases, they even sent the box. 
You know, same with the memory. You know, if it was Adata, if it was a Corsair, if it was, you know, they made sure you got what you paid for. So, you know, for this company to say, we build quality product. Sir, you are full of shit. You know, I have already spent pretty much the same, almost the same amount, because I'm not there yet. I will be when I buy the video card, because, you know, the video card is going to cost me about four or $500. And, yes, I'm looking at a 5700 XT. And that's who I am, and that's... I'm AMD. Through and through. Um, but regardless, I've already spent what it would have costed me if I had just saved my money, stopped being in a hurry. I would have already built this exact same system I'm looking at right here. only thing I needed to do was actually be patient and look and shop. So, my followers, my viewers, you know, if you're watching these videos, please, if you're thinking about buying a CyberPower PC, <clears throat> do, if you don't want to listen to me, at least listen to this. Go and look at the Better Business Bureau website. Look up CyberPower. And you will actually, and if, you, if that's not enough, then I don't know how else to help you. You're not going to get your money worth out of this. You're going to be stuck with something that after about a month or two, you're going to wish you hadn't. And I pretty much regret it from day one now. <clears throat> because if you factor in all of the cash that I have spent on everything, you're looking at, okay, uh, let's see, there's a hundred bucks for the motherboard uh, it's a hundred bucks for the RAM paid 60 for the fans um, paid 70 for the deep cool 360 millimeter rad um, 40 for the case I added a uh, another hard drive which was sixty dollars you know I'm already in it for what I would have done if I had just built it myself so so please guys just pay attention to these companies and make sure you read up on these pre-built companies you look at stuff through the Better Business Bureau. And, you know, and if you, if you think you cannot build a computer, I'm telling you, you can. Computers are not that bad or that hard to build. Watch you a couple, you know, YouTube videos. That's what it's for now. Or just, you know, find you a junk one. Tear it apart. See how everything goes in, you know. And then there you go. That's what I did. I didn't have YouTube back in the day. Unfortunately, yes, I'm ancient. Don't judge me.
But the stigma behind building your own PC is, you know, yes, you guys say that, you know, you're not good at them. You're, you know, trust me, it doesn't take a rocket science, the scientist for this stuff. Just buy you a case, buy you a motherboard. Everything goes one way. You know, just uh, take your time. And I understand the notion of building your own just seems so overwhelming. And because, you know, you probably watch these computer bills where they've got like 700 wires coming out of them. Well, that's what cable management is for. But, you know, if it is your first build, screw cable management. Once you get the system together, it's up, it's running, turn it off. Then start your cable management. You know? But anyway, I digress. Um, I'll have a couple more videos when I end up getting the uh, uh, new power supply. And when I get the... Uh, uh, GPU, but other than that, uh, we will, I'll give you a quick uh, rundown on the case a little bit, which it's all aluminum. Now, if you haven't noticed something, <laughs> there's a piece of glass right here where this was what was broke. Um, that's actually not tempered glass. That's actually a tinted license plate cover that actually fits in the case to uh, cut that off and hide the cables. Um, hey, it was $40. Make it work. You know what I mean? But anyway, I do have uh, 10 fans in this case. It does have all of the uh, little, it does have the dust filters and everything on it. And there's a better picture of the Deep Cool 360 Rad. But anyway, guys. That would be the uh, rant rave for the day. So pretty soon these videos will be done. And uh, like I said, I'm hoping that these videos are helping you guys out. Especially uh, for people that are wanting to purchase a PC. Um... You know, I can't stress enough. You guys can, even if you think you can't, you can build your own. You just have to have more, uh, you know, trust in yourself. Because, I mean, it's not hard. So, anyway, guys, PC War Room, I'm signing off. I'm going to do some gaming with my brother. I'm putting this bad boy through paces today. It's been a long week, so I will catch you guys later.